Hey, it's Pasty's Prime here, and welcome back to Homeseek, where we're continuing our first playthrough of the game, playing it chapter by chapter at the moment, and we are continuing um, in part one, no, part, oh god, part two, chapter three, and we are currently at a mansion, so let's check it out. We've encountered huge buildings designed to house thousands, but this is a large building seemingly for the purpose of one family. Such opulence strikes us as lavish. No amount of wealth could bring back the water, however. A reminder that we came from nothing and to nothing will return. Uh, the house must once have been a sight to behold. Its white marbled porch now crumbled and covered with drifted sand. A statue of a horse stands in the courtyard watching us Approach. The windows are shattered and the door has been broken down and boarded up, suggesting it is being used as living quarters. What should we do? Uh, from its size, it could house many people. Turn back, we are spotted. No progress. We've come this far, unhindered, forge a crowbar and break in the front door. We should exercise caution, scout the perimeters of the mansion and look for a subtler way in. Yes, let's do that. Alright. Okay, we've got to hope that people all get some water. Uh, oh, something happened. Okay, uh, we take our time creeping around the house, checking windows. We discover a small door partially covered with sand. Seeming a safer option, we open the door and enter a kitchen area. One of us activates a tripwire on the floor and wooden and wooden block filled with sharp metal drops from the ceiling with a sickening crunch. Ulrich Boone died from damage. The rest of the ground floor is mostly empty. There is a wide carpeted staircase leading up past a sagging chandelier. What should we do? Let's not push our luck and leave quietly. Anything of value must surely be upstairs. Let's move up with caution. Yeah, let's keep going. Right, how are you guys going? Could still grab some more water. I mean, you might as well just wait there. Do we need scrap? I mean, we could. Um... Yeah, let's finish with this one first, and then we'll send you guys back. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, more black smog. More sick people, but luckily, we're already healthy. Um, why'd that number change? Hang on a second. What, 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 what? I don't know. Wait, did we do something here? We did, it didn't tell me. The staircase creeps, creeps, creaks as we move up, taking our time to listen for sounds of movement. We reach the top and there is an elderly man sitting in a chair, a shotgun leveled at our chest. His finger twitching on the trigger. He tells us to drop our weapons or he will fill us full of holes. We don't want to lose our weapons and the man has the drop on us, so we slowly back down the stairs. Back in the hallway, the man calls down. He tells us the house has a fallout bunker. He was born and raised here, but the rest of his family are dead. He's never wandered far from the house. He asks if he, if we will take him with us. We spend some moments listening to the old man's story. Oh. Okay, uh, what was that we just researched? Okay, so we got advanced windmills, advanced that. Oh, that's right, I increased the water collector, didn't I? Don't need to do the farm, we could do the wetlands. Right, let's do that. Um, the 
I mean, we have the people. We might as well store the water while we can. Almost done. I mean, almost sending them back, I mean. Okay. So, back in the hallway. Uh, yeah, that's right. We already said that. We spent some moments listening to him. The rich, it seemed, could afford more than just luxury. How many, mo how many more of these private bunkers must be scattered across the land? This man has only ever known the same world that we have, but his ancestors were wealthy. It reminds us of the inequality their obsolete money brought. We have discovered the law, nothing goes to waste. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Well, so is he coming with us? Or he's not coming with us? I thought he was. Film studios. Alright, well these guys are still good to go. So, let's go back there. All right, now I'm going to send you guys back home. Come back home with those supplies. Then we might get some scrap. Okay, well, I mean, that's why we've got to try and make as much water as we can, because they keep doing that to us. How long will it be before they just shut our water down entirely? That's my next guess. Film Studios. Despite the mundane buildings, magic and illusion were once created and captured here. Our ancestors had a whole world at their feet and yet still chose to create make-believe places. People made a living by pretending to be something they weren't, and cameras once used to record truths learnt to tell the most convincing of lies. We jump the film studio's fence and enter a complex of unremarkable buildings. Inside one of the hangars we find something baffling. It's clearly a fake town, but rich in detail. There are cameras and lights hanging from rails in the rafters, the mock street is covered with sand and there's a building called a saloon. What should we do? Into the saloon, keep exploring. Yeah, go in the saloon. Okay, so that's increased. Let's increase our input, because that could be holding us up, too. Um, I'll chuck you up higher. Food's still good. Okay, we push through the strange double doors. We rush to grab the drinks behind the bar, but to our disappointment, we see that it's all superficial. We find nothing but empty bottles and cables. We take them for scrap, but feel cheated by the illusion. A moment from an, a movement from an area marked Boot Hill Cemetery catches our eye. A skeletal body hangs from a tree, a bag still around its shoulder. What should we do? Use scrap to cut the body down, or ignore it and move on. Yeah, let's cut it down. Hang on a second. Cut the body down and it breaks into pieces. We realise that the body is real. Someone hanged themselves or else were hanged. 
Ironic that such a place was used in their bag. Was you what? Ironic that such a place was used. In their bag, we find a very real bottle of whiskey, an empty gun, and a Bible. The scene leaves us puzzled, but we salvage what we can. Hundred scrap. So we spent a hundred scrap and got a hundred scrap back. We pass a water mill and find it not dissimilar to something we have at camp, albeit a there is some improvements in its design. We make some sketches of the mechanism. Oh, we're going to get the advanced water mill. I guess. And there you go. We leave the studio and return to the real world despite being fake. The set has given us a glimpse even further into the past. We can now research the water mill advanced. We don't need it because we're not doing that for power anymore. All right, our other guys are back. All right, what do you got? You got water, food and scrap. So you're still good to go. All right, let's go to the, uh, yeah, let's go to the local library. That sounds nicer than a prison. Okay, hold on. Let's go and get some scrap, please. That's a lot. And we still couldn't get it all. I'm thinking of lavishing out here. Uh, I don't know where I want to put this. Not a great deal of options, is there? I don't want to go too much because we need the scrap, maybe. Um... Well, we get another pile of scrap. Okay, these guys are almost there as well. Okay, local library. Every town once had a place like this, where volumes upon volumes of knowledge were stored for safekeeping. The eldest among us say that every, anyone could visit free of charge to read whatever they wanted from the shelves. Despite this... Places like these had supposedly fallen into disuse by time of civilization's fall. Still, maybe we can utilize what they once took for granted. The dust-swept streets of the suburban ruins are peaceful and sheltered from the sun, so we take a path through some of the destroyed homes to check for salvage. None of the pantries or cellars we search seem to have any leftover supplies, but we do stumble across a large swarm of cockroaches in one particularly disgusting basement. What should we do? 
Ignore the disgusting creatures and move on, or there's a wealth of valuable protein in that basement if we can stomach eating insects. Well, of course there is. Okay, so we're in day nine. Mashing the cockroaches together renders them into a disgusting but edible paste. 300 food. The community library seems to be almost untouched by the ravages of time. Many books have grown mildew, but most are still readable. Most looters must have been uninterested in anything they could eat, drink, or trade away. What should we do? Let the expedition spend the rest of the day exploring the books. The frivolous stories of the old world of no concern of ours. No, let them read. Uh, hang on. Let's go to these guys. Gather the scrap. Not full, but damn good enough. You go back, and then I think we'll go and get a bunch of food. And... We'll see what happens. What did you just do? Oh, you did that one. That's right. Hmm. What do we want to do now? I mean, we could just... I wonder, oh, did our community center get rebuilt? I don't care about increasing the size of the party. Never send that many people out. I mean, yeah, you could have another person in research. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go max on that. All right, what's the most beneficial to us? Keep your eyes peeled. Each citizen will contribute to the scrap production during the day. Does it work if you don't have scrap? Because if it does, that would be good. Uh, depression. I mean, that would also be good. I said that, didn't I? Hmm, reducing your daily water. We do have two R slots, so it's like... You know what, doing the water is probably more important. Because we seem to have an endless supply of... Um... Scrap, basically. If we can expedition, we can get it. Okay, so we have no free slots now because everybody, I guess, got sick. Well, not everybody, but a ton. But if we can heal them, I well, got five back. I was going to say we got five back, but that's just because we got expeditions back. Uh, actually, where are you going? Why is that down now? Um, we're making too much water. Hang on. So, you're going to get food and water. Do you need to take food and water? It doesn't seem to make sense to me. Okay, that's balanced. That was quick. Okay, let's put that in and let's go with... Hmm. 
Let's give it the solar one. What did I just do? I keep forgetting what I actually am researching. Gosh, it's driving me nuts. Um... Oh, it was the research, that's what it was. Let's do the improved one, because if you don't have to upgrade, you don't have to. Okay, we spend the night in the library, yep. Although many of the books in the library seem to be fictional stories with little relation to our current struggles, others seem to offer interesting factual ideas that even apply to the harsh conditions we face today. We decided to take some of these valuable books back home with us. These ideas might help us improve the very structure of a society. We have discovered the law traveling lightly. So, you're ready to go on, right? When are we going to get those? What? Why can't I... Oh. What? Did it not quite finish? Water park. All right, let's go to the water park. It's only two hours away. What's happening back at the camp? Uh, not much. Okay, I think we're healing people pretty good now. Happy about that, that's for sure. Oh, that's right. We can put another person in there. Water park. This place is incomprehensible to us. Surviving in a world where water is worth more than gold. It seems like an insane fantasy that our ancestors would build a park to slide and splash around in it. Any water remaining in the pool is shallow and green. Colourful slides of all descriptions populate the park. Looking up, we see one of the high platforms is barricaded with barbed wire. It's difficult to tell from here if anything of value is up there. What should we do? Ignore it, keep moving through the park, climb the ladder and investigate. Yeah, let's investigate. All right, so we've got a couple of things here. We've completed the research power output for that one. Let's do the solar one as well. All right, continuing the pathway is... Wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, we skipped one. Peering over the barbed wire, we see a stockpile of food, cans and water bottles. The mystery is solved when we notice one of the railings is broken. Some 50 feet below, a half-eaten corpse still lies on tiles stained with dried blood. We make use of their supplies. Nice. Didn't add to our stock though, does it? Continuing the pathway... Continuing, the pathway is blocked by a fallen wall. The only way forward is through a narrow gorge marked Rapids, which winds its way between fake plastic trees... Halfway along, we encounter a pool of green water writhing with brown snakes. What should we do? Shimmy over, gripping the narrow rim of the rapid pool, or make spears from scrap and kill them. 
kill them, please. Yes. Please do that. Because otherwise you were going to fall in and get bitten by snakes. I'm sure of it. Okay. It takes a while to fashion several spears and skewer the snakes. Once we get the hang of it, we clear the pit quickly. We leave the dead snakes in a pile behind us and wade re safely through the green water. The final area is the wave pool. Though the water is still and stagnant today, we pause to examine some machinery designed for cleaning the pool. We exit through a broken window. Uh, what are we going to unlock? Some advanced something or other? Maybe? Or the Oz, what do you call it? I can't remember what it's called. Something. Ah, the advanced water collector. Uses power for more efficient collection of contaminated water and salt water. Okay. Yeah, so that's the one we could have done with a long time ago, but we don't need it really now. It's good that it's an option though. Right, so off to the prison you go. And you guys. Uh, gather and gather. And come on home. So by this, I don't know if that's something, but there's that. And potentially that one. Um, but that's all I see. And we've only got one more day to go. But that might unlock one of these. This I'm worried about. This old world building is enough to send a shiver down our spines. We can't help but wonder if the worst of the worst were supposedly incarcerated here. Then how did the evils that ended so much life even come to pass? Fair point. The wide ravine running as far as the eye can see prevents us from continuing our journey. A narrow bridge naturally formed by the rock stretches across the gap. What should we do? Discard some supplies. We have nothing to be concerned about. It's probably perfectly safe. Turn back is not worth the risk. These ones annoy me. Because we don't have enough water, we can't dump supplies to make ourselves lighter. So we have to either turn back or do this. But in effect, we don't have the water, so we really shouldn't be disqualified. I wish they'd change that. It should be, if you have more than these items, you need to dump it to get down to whatever level they, they want. Not, oh, you don't have enough, so you can't dump any, so that means, you know, you're overweight. That's ridiculous. We're going to go for it. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? We die? Or send another party? Guess what? Somebody died. <laughs> we swiftly cross the narrow natural bridge without any consideration for safety. Nearly all of us are across when the rock begins to fracture. The last of our expedition tries to run, but the stone disintegrates and he falls into the chasm below. The prison stands like a fortress in the middle of the wasteland. It's surprisingly easy to gain entrance, but we find ourselves faced with a vast complex of wings, halls, and annexes within. What should we do? Uh, explore the vast facility only superficially, or search the facility thoroughly. Yeah, let's get thoroughly. 
I guess what? It's going to take longer, but... We've got time to pass. Well, everybody's happy. I mean, we've still got to get to day 11. There's nothing really else to do. Other than keep building stuff. Which doesn't make sense. Uh, we take our time searching every last hall of the prison. We find a workshop with a supply of scrap. In an overgrown yard, we corner a group of wild horses grazing. We manage to catch one using a lassoes before the rest escape. So we've got 100 scrap and a horse, I guess. A wealth of administrative details regarding the prison's operation remains in the warden's office. They inform us about a group management as well as law and order in the old world society. We spend some time studying the documents. Uh, smart practices for cloudy weather law has been voted. So that's been applied. Uh, no, that's been voted, you fool. Put that over there. Travel lightly. More energy. No, I don't want to do those. Uh, Right, let's do that one for the scrap. We'll just keep it even. Still going. Still sick. Okay, solar output has been increased. Okay, that clearly just got added. I don't know what that actually adds, so I'm going to do it. I don't need anything, do I? I mean, I guess that would make sense. Um, oh. Anyway, let's read this. Uh, it strikes us that the prison once housed more inmates than our entire camp back home. We learn much from it, how it operated. We can now research the community centre advanced. What is this? More water and food. Huh. Okay. So you need 200 scrap to start it up. You don't have any supplies. This or this must get unlocked after this. All right, come on home. So you'd need 400, 600 scrap, 400 contaminated water. So, you know, there's nothing, nothing stopping us doing it if we want to, uh, well, there is, we don't have any people. Clearly they're all sick right now. Oh, we just got three. Uh, what did I say? Oh crap, it was 400 contaminated water, wasn't it? Why is it going in 25s? That was a weird number. Um. It was like 600 scrap.
day 11? Are we at day 11? Okay, lost a heap of water. It's fine, we've got tons. Luckily, we've got a lot. Uh, okay, hang on a second. You... You have done that. Well, we haven't done it. Put that over there. Let's go with the depression one. Oh, it adds that, does it? Okay, build that. Build that, build that. And you may as well camp there for a little bit. Let's get another party. It's not doing 50s anymore. I don't understand. Okay, let's do the advanced water collector in case we need it. Still haven't built the water station either. Wait, wait. What did I say? Water station. I meant weather. You haven't built the weather station. Boost that up. Wait, what? We as good as crawl away from the ruined utopia, coughing our lungs up and gasping for air. Fortunately, the unfinished air purifier is not too far, just beyond the zone of destruction. If it's not nature forcing us to move, it's humans. Tired of being pushed and pulled. Perhaps here on the fringes of devastation we will finally find a solution. Not just for the short term, but for future generations to come. Okay, there you go. Only 67%. Interesting. I thought we did pretty well. In the end, once I worked out what to do, I don't know why such a low performance. We only lost four people. Eleven deserters. That's not bad. Fifty-two survived. Uh, Fourteen explored. Six outposts. Uh, four buildings researched, upgrades researched, 16, three votes, three applied. All right, and we just got the weather thing done. 
All right. Well, there you go. We made it. I wasn't sure we were going to, but we made it. And that would mean that our next one is chapter four, Arcadia. And it is the last one. We get through that one, then we can go back and have a look at uh, survival mode. And then we got endless mode. Uh, I guess in both parts, because I'm not sure if they're still separate or you actually go from part one to part two in endless, because it doesn't, it sort of doesn't look like it. It looks like they're separate. So it looks like you still do one and then the other. Don't know. And then I guess we'll see if they add more content somewhere down the track, because I guess they've got the potential to just keep adding chapters if they so choose. We'll have to see how this ends in the last chapter, but, you know, I'm excited to see how it ends and then excited to see how we're going to fare in one of the other, uh, or, or both of the other modes somewhere along the line. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. How did I go? All your thoughts. What could I have done better? Um, yeah, I guess you can't really talk about the next chapter if you've done it because, you know, we obviously want the surprise of, well, I want the surprise of what it is. Um, we'll have to try and see if my tactics from this one uh, work in the next one as well, or if they're going to do something really weird and flip it all around and stuff it up for me again. Well, we'll I guess we'll find out soon enough in the next video. Uh, yeah, so let me know everything, you know, whatever you want to put in the comments. Just you want to chat with me, do that as well. Anything at all, you want to suggest other games or you want to see particular things in this game, let me know. I read all the comments, answer every comment as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.